The surge in e-commerce activity during the COVID-19 pandemic brought about significant changes in various industries, including transportation and distribution. While it exposed some long overlooked issues, one pressing concern within the trucking sector is the looming 2024 issue. This issue aims to impose annual overtime limits, particularly concerning drivers, restricting them to working a maximum of 960 hours per year. The transportation industry in Japan is on edge due to the impending 2024 issue, a series of problems triggered by new regulations on overtime and other aspects of work style reform laws. Initially, work style reform was proposed to improve the well-being of workers by eliminating overwork. However, these legislative changes have sent shockwaves through the driver community within the transportation sector. One of the critical factors driving this issue is the relationship between workload and driver compensation. In the trucking industry, driver pay is directly tied to the distance they travel. Drivers who cover longer distances naturally earn more incentivizing them to take on lengthy routes. To maintain a fair compensation structure and prevent overwork, companies need to manage and control the shipping unit price effectively, ensuring drivers receive adequate compensation. It's essential to understand that overworked drivers pose not only a risk to themselves but also to the general public. Navigating trailers as long as 17 meters on public roads comes with substantial responsibility. Companies must prioritize the physical and mental well-being of drivers to ensure they can fulfill their duties safely and responsibly. The looming 2024 issue introduces a new rule that will restrict yearly overtime to 960 hours, effective from 2024. While the intention may be to protect drivers from overwork, the reality suggests otherwise. The rule's upper limit for overtime appears unrealistic and impractical. Shortening drivers' working hours without considering compensation will lead to an exodus from the transport industry. The consequences will ripple throughout the logistics chain, causing shipping fees to skyrocket and eventually, consumer product prices to rise. Recognizing the severity of the 2024 problem, the government has drafted a comprehensive policy package. This package includes compelling large consigners and logistics companies to submit improvement plans aimed at alleviating the burdens on truck drivers. Some key elements of these improvement plans involve reducing waiting times for drivers and streamlining deliveries, all with an emphasis on fair and timely compensation. Furthermore, the package promotes the use of written contracts to ensure truck drivers receive their rightful pay. It also seeks to raise public awareness of the challenges faced by truck drivers and the importance of resolving them. To address the anticipated shortage of truck drivers in 2024, the government plans to designate a dedicated lane for self-driving vehicles on the Shin Tomei Expressway in Shizuoka Prefecture. This forward-thinking move aims to introduce autonomous trucking services by fiscal 2026. These self-driving vehicles will operate primarily during the nighttime, covering a 120-kilometer stretch with three lanes each way. In line with this development, Mitsubishi Estate Company intends to collaborate with T2 Inc., a self-driving system developer, to launch unmanned transportation services as early as 2026. The plan includes constructing next-generation distribution facilities directly linked to expressway interchanges in key regions, such as Kanto, Chukyo, and Kansai. T2 Inc. will prepare a fleet of 50 10-ton automated trucks before the service launch, with ambitions to expand to 2,000 trucks by 2031. The future of the transportation and distribution industry in Japan is undoubtedly undergoing significant transformations. While the 2024 challenge presents its share of obstacles, proactive government initiatives and emerging self-driving technologies offer hope for a more sustainable and efficient future. Balancing the welfare of truck drivers with the demands of an evolving industry will be key to overcoming these challenges and ensuring the smooth flow of goods across the nation.